So for area of a trapezoid, it's a little bit different than everything else. Uh, and let's look at one and see why. The difference is I've got two bases. Um, so I don't know which one to use. I want to just do base times height, but I can't. Um, if I draw in another height and break this shape apart even more, we've got a triangle over here, um, a, tri a triangle over here, and a rectangle in the middle. And these two are actually, in this picture, going to be the same. But it's the difference of base 2 and base 1 to figure out the bases there. So the area of a trapezoid is 1 half times base 1 plus base 2 and then times the height. Or, like we did for a triangle also, you could write this over 2, base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times the height. What we're doing here is we're actually taking the average of the two bases. Regardless of what size they are, you average the two bases, then multiply by the height, you're getting the area. So, the median of a trapezoid is the segment that connects the midpoints of the legs. That's review. We've done that before. We've talked about that segment that connects from here to here. And go straight across so that these are congruent. And the median can be found by finding the average of the bases. So the median is halfway between. So 6 plus 14 divided by 2, we get 10. So the median of this one's 10. That's going to be useful because sometimes we won't have the bases, we'll have the median. And if we already know the average of the bases, well, now we know the average of the bases, we multiply by the height. So if you have the median, you can actually just multiply the median by the height to get the area of a trapezoid. So now that we know a couple different formulas, this one on top and the one on the bottom, let's go ahead and start working. So let's find the median of this trapezoid. We already did this. Uh, draw in the midpoints. 6 plus 14 over 2 gets me that that median is 10. So now, uh, find the area of a trapezoid if its height is 5 and the median is 12. So let's get a trapezoid drawn here. We have a height of 5. And the median, drawn very straight, is 12. Area equals height times median. So the area is 5 times 12, or just 60. So let's find the area of this trapezoid. Since it's isosceles, um, all that tells us is that these legs are the same. All we need is the height. 30, 60, 90 triangle on the side over there. So, 1 over leg, square to 3 over leg, and 2 over the hypotenuse. The issue is, I don't have either the leg or the hypotenuse over here. So, the other thing that an isosceles trapezoid will tell us is that these parts over here and over here on the left and right are the same also. So, if the top base, base 1, is 14, and this part's 14. I know that these two have to add up to 6 because the entire base is 20. So those are going to be 3 and 3. So now I have my first leg, 1 over 3, and square root of 3 over h. When you cross multiply, you get h is 3 square root of 3. Now that I have 3 square root of 3, I'm going to go into area. Area is base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times the height. So 14 plus 20 divided by 2 times my height of 3 square root of 3. So 34 divided by 2 because 14 plus 20. Uh, you get 17, multiply that by 3, and we get that the area is 51 square root of 3. Remember, don't type in the square root of 3 into your calculator. Just put it at the end. Next one, go ahead and start trying it. We need to find the height. We're already given our two bases.
So the area is 935. Base 1 is 30. Base 2 is 55. And we're looking for H. So let's evaluate. 30 plus 55 is 85 divided by 2. You get 42.5. So 935 equals 42.5 times H. And let's just divide. 935 divided by 42.5, you get H is 22. So the next example says find the missing base. Uh, last time we had to find the missing height, now we're finding a missing base. So that's the only difference here. It's still the same setup. Um, you could use again any formula. I'm going to keep using the same one that we just did times the height. Area is 190. Oops, need an equal sign there. 190 equals base 1 is 25 plus base 2, I don't know, divided by 2 times the height, which is 10. I'm going to divide both sides by 10. Go ahead and get rid of that 10 out there. So I got 19 equals 25 plus the base over 2. We're going to think of this as over 1 to cross multiply. Essentially, I'm multiplying both sides by 2. So 38 equals 25 plus the base. I subtract 25 from both sides. Get that the base is 13. Now we've got a big shape here. Um, essentially, if I draw in this and I look over here, I have a trapezoid. And along with that trapezoid, I have a rhombus. Now, since this is 4 here, the height here is also 4. So for my trapezoid, base 1, base 2, over 2, times my height of 4, plus area of a rhombus is diagonal 1, times diagonal 2. Let's get rid of that times diagonal 2, which is 8, over 2. 6 and 8. So 14 plus 20 is 34, divided by 2, and then times 4. So the area of the trapezoid part is 68, plus the area of the rhombus, which is 24. Add them together and get 92. 